Okay. Okay. Sure. Inert pair effect again. So this is how this works. You're used to just looking at the top and saying that, okay, this is zero. For it's minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Or going the other way, plus one, plus two, etc. That's kind of what we're used to. However, you're going to have it kind of funny whenever you're under the staircase alum below aluminum. It's really gallium and below has this funky thing called the inert pair effect. Let's just look at it. Normally you would say plus one, plus two. Like you know aluminum, this whole column is plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six. However, according to the inert pair effect, you can keep the S electrons. So for example, thallium here, or indium, or gallium, can be plus one, two, three, or it can decide, I want to lose my P electrons and keep the S. So it'd be plus one. Going over to take really a configuration that's equal to a full d orbital uh, configuration, where these act as what's called the inert pair. Or tin and lead can be uh, plus one, two, three, four, or plus just one and two. So you can have not only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven go in here below the staircase, or you can have just plus one, two, three, four, five. So each of these at the staircase or below is going to have two numbers, one and three, two and four, three and five, four and six, five and seven, alternated by two for the <coughs> two electrons in the s orbital that are kept. Now, also remember, if you're along the staircase, and we're doing this uh, for gallium and below, or you know that whole row and below, then it can have negative if it's on the staircase. So germanium can also be minus four going this way, or arsenic can be minus three, or tellurium can be minus two, this can be minus three. So it can have, along the staircase, there can be three possible charges that will work. Uh, so, for example, polonium can be minus 1, minus 2, or plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would be minus 2, plus 4, plus 6. Antimony, for example, or arsenic could be plus 3, plus 5, and minus 3. So you can double the charges when you're a semi-metal, because a semi-metal can act like the non-metal with minus charges, or the metal with plus charges. 